Amen. with no guns. Huh? No means. And you don't know it because most of you wasn't there. How many women was involved? Huh? I was there. I know your power. I've seen them watch out and march in front of the guns and didn't scream and didn't holler. And didn't go through nothing. That's you. That's who you are. And you let this white boy take all your stuff. Black folks was here a billion years for amen. white folks. Amen. Now before you holler amen, they was making spears. So who was them niggas killing? Huh? Wasn't no white folks here. So y'all get hooked up in all that crap that this white boy take. Huh? They so scared they don't know what to do now. Not because of Trump, because of you. Huh? Yes. That's what it is. Yes. You. When Trump came out a couple of Wednesdays back in Milwaukee, he wasn't talking to black folks. He was talking to white folks that wouldn't vote for him if they thought he was a racist. That's a game. They know he a racist. The reason they got by with it, because they are too. Don't act like Trump is the one. George Wallace came up here and appealed to them same thugs. So he's not the first one. And if any of y'all ever seen any of Trump's TV shows, any of y'all see it? Oh, yeah. You got to go back and look at it again. How could it be so brilliant then and so stupid now? And y'all don't see through that. Huh? Yeah. Hillary and Trump is cousins. Yeah. Okay? And I know the guy write both of them speeches. Huh? <laughs> you have the power. You have the power. And you use it. Huh? You use it. They didn't try to put everything out. They can't touch nothing. The black church, they can't touch it. The closest they can get to you is all that crap them white folks did. Watermelon. God made watermelon, nigga. So how somebody gonna make you shame something God made? You can laugh if you want to. I've been black longer than most of you. And I heard black folks say, Mildred got good hair. So you mean God makes good hair and bad hair? Huh? Huh? And when you violate that, you get punished. When you violate that, black women, 6% of America's population, did you hear me? 98% of fibroid tumors, black women. The next highest month is Jewish women. What y'all got in common? Nappy hair. God made nappy hair. And you older folks in here know you never heard of a fibroid until you start putting them perms on your head. And you don't even know it. Huh? Think about it. Ask the old folks. Nothing called a perm. Fiber for perms. So I'm sitting looking at this sister here. And I said to her, Supreme Court. Hey. Supreme Court? Yeah. I'll listen to her talk. Listen to who she was. And I said, if ever I get in trouble anywhere in the world, I'm not talking about Michigan, anywhere in the world, I said, take me to her. <laughs> I'll lie. They bust me in sweet. I said, I'll lie and say I did it in, in, in Michigan. <laughs> and I just got here. Take me there. And so here's what you need to do. Figure out huh? all this misinformation you got. One good thing about the Democrats, hmm? they buy a sheep, but they pay the hell of a price. I do the research. Huh? They can't trick me. And if any of you listen to it, what, what I say his name is, Limbo. Somebody called in the other day and said, you know Dick Gregory got the evidence that 1.5 million black men is missing. And he said, yeah, I know. He said, do you know what you think? Anything Dick Gregory said, believe it, because he knows. It. It's him. Huh? Him. Huh? And somewhere, I looked at you just now. You older folks, you remember when you used to hear the word, my home is my castle? Huh? You haven't heard that in 40 years. Why? That was my case I carried to the Supreme Court and knocked it out. That's who you are. Huh? That don't wait on nobody. When you get pregnant and have a baby, that baby didn't come from you, it came through you. And you don't have to wait on nobody to have it. You don't need no money to have it. 
right. Donald Trump. So, did you know the cause of them looking at you and hearing you, white folks, all of them new hotels he's building, and all of them they got, do you know they had to change the name of them last week? Because white folks wasn't registering them. That big, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't know that because you don't know who you are. Huh? The biggest new hotel on the planet is that one he just, in Washington, D.C., and they got big, con the World Bank is there. White folks from all over the world, and his hotel is 2% occupied. Huh? Mm -hmm. Because of you, white folks decided, uh, we ain't going there, nothing got his name on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sick and tired of you black folks. I come back from Russia, I go to China, and all they talking about is black folks being shot down by cops. But all you niggas talking about is Trump. 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 Trump ain't never shot nobody in the back of the head. Trump's a fool. He's mentally retarded. And the one thing I got to give white folk credit for. One thing I got to give white folk credit for. If a nigga had a child look like him, they would have never let him out the basement. And you know what I'm talking about. He'd be in the basement now. You go by the house and hear some noise downstairs. And they make like it's, it's coming from that 1906 earthquake in California. We still getting the ripple. I bumped into him in New York the other day and said, I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. And he gave me change back. <laughs> He's a fool, and yet until there's something wrong, what's inside your God that you scared of somebody like that? You're afraid of him? Here in this state, you looked at what happened in Flint, huh? And nobody did nothing. Are you all aware that the black woman went into court, federal court on her own, and sued, and they came in her house three weeks later, shot her dead in the head, and the friend that was there with her. And it's disgraceful y'all live here, and uh, y'all don't know that. Did you hear about the white judge that was the chemical engineer for the Flint Water Department? They went in his house and shot him in the head. Okay, this is going right underneath. And so this lady here, Huh? She looks like you. Huh? Lisa? You know her record? But they fixed it so there's no way she can get through. Oh, all the preachers, all the Catholic church folks, they frame you. Huh? Huh? Frame you. And when y'all get home, because we don't have enough time to get into it, when you get home, go to computer and don't have nobody that you know, that you don't know can use that computer, then you understand this white boy. I don't know that much about white folks, but I know in the black community, white black woman see a rat, a mouse, and jump all the way up on the table. Ah! Yes. And then this white boy come out and make the number one thing in the history of the planet, one of them computers. And the thing's called a mouse and look like a mouse, but you ain't scared of it because the white boy said you don't be scared. Huh? Huh? You hear me? You didn't come from your mother. You came through it. You God's child. Huh? Yes. Y'all right. sit around yes. talking about right. the black children with, with, with their drawers below their butt. Huh? Exactly. No, no. You talk all that ignorant stuff. The cops says kill him. Black folks ain't wearing they draw. The, the guy who killed Jesus wasn't wearing his cross, but the pants below his butt. What's wrong with y'all? Huh? The people that rip y'all off every day. Trump ain't wearing his pants below his butt. Right. So somebody called me one day and said, Mr. Gregory, uh, you have 10 children. And what do you think about these young folks wearing their pants? I said, I can't talk about it. He told you. Hmm? 30 years I was drinking a fifth of scotch every day. Hmm? Smoking four packs of cigarettes every day. Weighed 395 pounds every day. If you drink a fifth of scotch every day, you know how many days you drive home drunk, which is a felony. Wearing your pants low ain't no felony. I was committing a crime every day but just never got caught. So y'all better wake up because there's some young folks coming behind you. Ain't gonna take yourself. Amen. 
My mother heard the stuff I'm putting out now. She had called the police. It was my mama that told me Santa Claus was a white boy. She was buying the toys. Huh? And y'all running around talking all this old crazy stuff. Hear me? But there is a universal God huh? that solves everything. You know this country's in trouble anytime time. Serious white boys on TV talking about buy one suit, get six free. Right? Something wrong. Something wrong. Okay? So some way, you know. And so as we leave, I'm talking about this sister here. I'm going to show you how the universal God works. This here is one of the most powerful magazines in the world. The paper, 1948, when Dewey ran huh, against Truman, at the end of the night, the headlines was, Dewey defeats Truman. And that morning, they had to switch it. That's how long they've been stealing votes in Chicago. So don't act like these crackers sit up and tell you, oh, it don't happen or it do happen. You know how long you heard jokes. Never lived in Chicago. How dead folks vote in Chicago. Huh? You heard that. And then these crackers come up and act like it did. Huh? They control you from the time you wake up. Yeah. Don't forget about this black church. Had it not been for them. When white folks wouldn't let you go to white schools. Huh? You couldn't go to, to where you could learn your trade. 99% by entertainers came out the church choir. Huh? Yes. You hear me? Yeah. And all the ones, we're going to forget that. And I love communion in a black church. So I went to the Catholic church just to point out to one of my white friends. Y'all have, y'all have communion every day, every hour. Damn, what kind of sinners are y'all? In the black church, we have it once a month. Huh? Huh? Them wafers come in from Rome on a prayer plane. Hmm? A prayer plane. They open them up. Put them in your mouth. In my black church, I don't send nowhere for no wafers. Thought I'm sure I'm get a soda crack. Just don't put no cheese on it. And here's how you know that black minister's power. That brother check out that soda crack. If the weather's bad and it's just three people for community, the brother hit it and they're breaking three pieces. If it's 10,000, y'all, you take another crack. Pop! It break into 10,000 things. That's, you don't get no cracker for each one. And so again, I say to you, somewhere, you got to start looking in the mirror. I looked at, because of this civil rights movement, they put a black woman on the cover of a $20 bill, Harriet Tubman. You know what's good about that? Hmm? You know, didn't know black folks had nothing to do with it, because if y'all had something to do with it, you'd have made her a little bit yellow. Huh? Yeah. Now you gonna sit there and lie to yourself. God know who you are, and made her look like she finished hard. Huh? Okay? How can a God make you, and you end up being shamed? And I'll leave you with this here. Reason somebody got to look. Here's why she's important. I don't care how bad them white folks hate Obama. Hmm? If all of y'all are eight years old, now, that means ever since you've been here, the most powerful nation in the world have a black man president. Now you can't lie on that. You can't tell your child that this don't come. You can't tell your child that he stinks. You can't, now hear me. And if Hillary happened to win a bunch, them, all the children around us, I didn't know a, black, a white person to be president of the United States. That's what that real mind do. And so again, I say to you, when you're talking to your friend, she just told you what they're doing. When you're talking to your friend, you have the power. Huh? King didn't come up with no money. King came up, and right now, he has a monument in Washington, D.C. In a grave site here. Huh? King. And all you black folks, some of you, you know black folks, this summer carried your children to Disneyland to see a rat. <laughs> but haven't been to King's grave, and had he not died, you wouldn't be welcome there. Okay? And y'all walk around talking all that old crazy talk. If I carried many black women in a gorilla, 
to see the God. The gorilla could get in, but you couldn't, because the gorilla looked the same way it was then when God made it. Gorillas ain't got no green hair, and red hair, and all that crap. The gorillas don't wear no high heel shoes and lipstick and stuff. God would recognize the gorilla, but wouldn't recognize you. And that don't make you feel bad. Huh? Oh, y'all sitting there talking about, uh, 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 when I get to hell, I'm gonna walk all over hell. <laughs> all, that, all that stuff y'all sing. Huh? Uh, uh, milk and honey, when I was nine years old. I had my own money. I bought me some milk and honey. It don't taste good. <laughs> Until I put rum in it. Huh? It don't taste good. Hmm? You got shoes, I got shoes, all got to get shoes. Once I get to heaven, why are you singing all them deaf tunes? When God made you, and we proved that here in this town. Huh? We proved it all over the world. That was church people out there, wasn't soldiers, wasn't marines. That right. people came out the church and brought this country to its knees. All right. And so as I leave you, as I leave you, I say thank you and two things. I want you to see this. This is Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Techno Review, one of the most powerful books in the world. And here's what the June edition look like. We can now engineer the human race. Huh? And it don't look like you. Huh? That ain't something that happened 30 years ago, two months ago. Huh? And it don't look like you. Right here. You ain't got no chance unless you get into the joint and look at people that look like you. And finally, let me tell you how the universe works. Finally, the white boys was honest. Nasty, dirty, ungodly. But George Washington thugs knew they couldn't be the face of liberty because they owned too many slaves. So the white boys said, tomorrow, July the 5th, 4th, 1776 in Philadelphia, we're going to take this bell since we don't have the face of liberty. And they hit that bell. And God cracked that bell from the bottom all the way to the top. Huh? Yeah. The bell. Yeah. That's some white company made. But you don't have the crow when the universe steps in. Look at it. So when you see the face of liberty, God say, look at it good. The face of liberty is represented by a cracked bell. And I baffled their minds so they couldn't even hide it. That's what you're looking at. This here. And so when you stop and think about it, who you are. I ran for President of the United States huh? in 1968. I want you to hear this. This is the last thing I want to say to you. Hmm? The Wall Street Journal. Hmm? Who got their reading glasses on? So I, I want you, come on. I want you so they don't think I'm lying to them. Hmm? At the top of this, what paper is this in? At the top. Election. Here. Here. This here. Up there. Wall yeah. Street Journal. Wall Street Journal. Wall Street. The number one business paper in the world. That's what this story comes out of. Now let me tell you what they said three days after the election. All the computers in America had to be shut down that night because it was given Gregory nine million votes in the state of Pennsylvania. Me. Huh? Here. This ain't no cheat. This is the most powerful business paper. Now, what's the headline say? Listen to this now. Election computer goose gives Gregory nine million votes. This is her. Y'all didn't know it. You wouldn't have voted in six days. All the computers were shut down because it kept saying, Dick Gregory's the president. Now, let them straighten it out. What do they say? By some inaccurate data gets Excuse me, some inaccurate data gets on TV. Now hold it. See, they make it think it's that just like they did Rosa Parks. They made you think if she wasn't tired, she wouldn't have got up. Huh? And y'all fall for that crap. They're not gonna let you know a black woman with nothing but in her heart to change it. They've got y'all believing she was tired. And that's why she wouldn't move. Now listen to this now. Some inaccurate data gets on TV before use is halted by news election servicer. 
by a Wall Street Journal staff reporter. New York, some machines just aren't to believe to be believed. Take the big computer in New York that was designed to compile results of Tuesday's general election. Now here it is. Your election to vote is not compiled here. It's in New York. And you don't even know it. Huh? But here's what the universe showed them in New York. At one point early yesterday morning, the machine was credited. Dick Gregory, the comedian turned presidential candidate with nine million votes in Pennsylvania. In one state, huh? Now that's how Trump is doing it, but you so out of it, you don't know it. That's why that punk fool idiot, because they meant here to trick them votes for Nixon in some kind of way, they put it to the wrong and they gave them to me. Huh? Now, you know what happened there? Uh, we knew what they do, but here's a white boy saying it. The reason I'm showing you this, that's why Trump is doing so good. He ain't doing nothing but in this trick and in this lie, and y'all buy it. And that's why they're talking about now. Oh, uh, uh, so I leave you with this. You have the power. Huh? Yeah. You have the power. You came here as a slave. Huh? And you have the power. Black women, you the only woman on the planet can take a butter knife and cut that chump's ties to, to the rim. You don't go to school. Huh? Y'all go home and get a butter knife. It don't even cut butter. Don't let it come out. And so again, sister, I thank you. And I thank this brother who opened up his roof to everybody out here. And every time they try to stop him, he gets away. Hmm. Stronger than ever. So again, I say to you, I just met her today. Listen to her as we went from one place to another. Huh? And then you hear something. So when you go there, she just told you how they trick it. Huh? Just run in and look, look, look. If you can't find it, draw her picture. <laughs> draw her picture. Thank you much. Love you. And, and by the way, we, we know we have a, a mayor been elected and they practically drew his name. So let's give it up for Dick Gregory. All right, we got to make